of changes last match, understandably, with all the quick turnarounds. Are you anticipating a lot this week or a few weeks? Uh, we won't be having nine, but we'll, we'll still have uh, a few. Talia will, will be managed. Um, he's done what he can to get up, but it's just uh, the smart call is to not risk him. He's just got some, some general soreness, so we'll make sure we get that one right. Uh, Brody will play. Yeah, so that's two I'm happy to give you. It'll be good to have um, Smithers, you know, um, getting back in, into the form we're after. He'll play a number of different roles. You probably would have seen him out there with our backs. Um, we might have a look at him across half back at a point, maybe back in the midfield, depending on, on how we're going. How have you come to the decision with Brady, especially in a time when anyone is even just the faintest soreness seems to be getting rested? He's obviously yep. still a bit sore. How have you come to the decision with Brady? Uh, well, today he was, he was really solid. Um, even yesterday, we, he felt like he was ready to go. So today was just a tick off, just to make sure he's moving well. Um, you know, being able to kick the ball and go at speed. For him, it's, a, it's acceleration, it's the ability to really go. There's no um, risk of re-injuring. Today was just making sure that mentally he was right and he was, he was, in, a, he was in a good frame of mind. How do you replace Talia? <clears throat> uh, well, Hardigan will come in, so you know, he's gonna, he'll take that, that tall forward, that key forward. Um, we'll, we'll look a little different behind the ball this week than what we have, um, anticipating yeah, maybe possibly some slippery conditions. Um, also, our opponents who have, they've got a lot of speed and they're, they're very dangerous forward of the ball. So we're going to change that up a little. Do you like people back now? So when the rest of the season, do you think? I don't. I don't want to say that and lock it in because um, yeah, our conversation, Fisher and I, and the coaching groups really around his flexibility. We don't want to lose that. Um, he's developing so well in both areas. His last game as a forward, we were. We were really pleased with what he brought. Now, at this point in time, Fogarty's come back into the side. Uh, you know, Tex is forward of the ball, so um, we're in a bonus situation with Fish that, that he's, uh, he came back in and played an outstanding first half on the weekend. So we, we're, hopefully we can continue to de develop him as a, as a back, but never write off the fact that he can play both. Eddie, I know um, it won't affect you sadly, but there is a lot of talk growing that South Australia may be hosting Later yeah. in the year as a proud South Aussie, would that be a good thing? It'd be great, yeah, it'd be fantastic for the state. Um, I think everyone around the country knows the atmosphere that, that is, is Adelaide Oval. It's a fantastic venue. So, you know, for South Australia, that'd be a, it'd be a massive win. What's the mood been like generally? I mean, you said you run out of gas after the Melbourne game, but um, I guess you've had a wide week, but what's the general mood been like? Yeah, m mood's been pretty good this week. I mean, we. Um, the 24, 48 hours after the game, there's, some, there's a real disappointment in the way we finished. Um, it was interesting seeing Melbourne, you know, the way they came out again this week, they, they finished really strongly again. So, um, yeah, as a group, we were disappointed, but I think the boys were, were proud of the way they went about it for three quarters. And that's not enough. We know that. Uh, we reviewed in detail and went through, you know, what's going to get us that four quarter effort. Um, why didn't it come? And it was it, there are small margins in this game, small margins. And the yeah, midfield got on top of us, and we spent time in the back half. So we, we know we know what it is that we've got to bring. Can we do it for longer? So the vibe around the place this week was we got the answers we we're after. We're just now going to be able to put it on the park. Yeah. Yeah, other than the players finding me for the fact that we haven't won yet, we've yeah we we have a bit of fun in around that. But it's it's hard, it's it's tough because I, I want to get a win for the boys. I, I want them to get some reward for the effort they're putting out there. Um, you know, for the development we're seeing in our group. You know, you just want that outcome, but uh, you can't live in outcomes. You've got to live in the process, and we're in that at the moment. We're about improving and and getting better. Um, but as a coach, you know, ultimately, I, I want to see our guys be able to celebrate uh, after a game and, and sing the club song. It'd be great for, for everyone involved because we've got staff that are working hard. You know, everyone's, <clears throat> everyone's working overtime at the moment because of the environment, because of the, um, you know, some of the protocols we're under. It, it, it's a tough time for everyone, but we're, we're sticking tight. Matty, I'm not, oh, sorry. This isn't a question at all, but do you feel a pressure to get wins as a coach? No, I don't. 
No, I mean, pressure, I'd love to get wins for our supporters. Um, as I said before, I'd love to get wins for our players to reward them for their effort. Um, but it's not about win and loss at this point. It's about making sure we keep improving. Matty, a lot has been made. It's a tough game, but a lot has been made about treatment at Max Boyd. Have you been surprised by the commentary on that and, you know, the level of criticism perhaps? Uh, a surprise is probably not the word. Not surprised. Um, it's interesting going behind the goals. We, we actually didn't know Gorn was injured. We, we had no knowledge of that at all. We came into the game knowing that Gorn's a very good player. Um, and Melbourne uh, had done a lot of work over the last month and probably for a number of years. But we studied there last month and they'd done a lot of blocking off ball for him and freeing him up. And um, So we went in with the, with the mindset of not allowing that. Um, throw in the first punch if you'd like or, um, you know, becoming a physical side off ball so that we weren't dictated to. Um, that came across in a different way to some in the media. Uh, it was never our intention to, to go after Gorn in, in a way. We were looking to free Rob up, really, to try and expose it. And, you know, to challenge such an outstanding ruckman in the competition, he, he's, he's such a good footballer that if we allow him to run around the ground freely, we're going to, you know, we're going to struggle to get ourselves in that game. So forgive my news, that sort of thing happens regularly, like, it, you know, you see a lot of what, is that fairly common? Well, Melbourne, I mean, Melbourne are outstanding at it. They, they block for Gorn. So, yeah, you see it every week. I mean, if you go behind the goals and you look through, there's a lot of work that goes on off the ball. That's the, that's the greatest part about our game is, you know, when you're at the ground, you can see that. When you're watching it on TV, you can't, unfortunately. Um, but, you yeah, know, the, the, guys, the guys put an effort in. We, we bought the contest. You know, we want to play on the edge. We need to play on the edge because the best sides do. Just on that, so Grundy this week, probably the two best ruckmen back-to-back here. I think we've had the four best ruckmen back to back. Seems like you get one every week nowadays. You know, there's there's some so many quality players in the in the game. Um, we'll, we'll look at being physical again. We'll look at you know taking our opposition on, um, but in different areas depending on what that opposition do and and where their strengths and and areas we might be able to expose are. He's, uh, yeah, Ned, he's a feisty one. Um, he enjoys it, he loves it. He gets out over that white line, he gives absolutely everything for his teammates uh, and, and for the club. Um, yeah, we, we watched the game back and, you know, he had some really positive stuff that came through in the game. And one of those was the area of looking after his teammates. Um, we didn't see Chase out there today, so he believes we were getting here. I assume that means he's not playing. Is that a rest sort of thing? Uh, well, Chase, will, he won't play this weekend. Um, it won't be a body management thing. It'll be more about trying to free Chase up, um, have a little bit of time out of the game, see if we can get him back to his best footy, which we haven't seen over the last couple of weeks. Um, yeah, he's got some weapons that, are, unfortunately, he hasn't been able to find over these last few, few rounds. Um, so sometimes a freshen up, just you know, take the weight off your shoulders, uh, go away for a while. We'll get him back in you know, before the season's out because he's a, he's a very important part of our future. Do you, get him to play, sorry, Max, do you get him to play the same role when he comes back to him or do you look at him in a different part of the ground? Or? Um, we'll have a look at him in a number. I mean, he played, he played half back on the weekend. He played uh, half forward, you know, in the same game. Uh, we know he's, a, he's an on-baller as a junior and he can find the footy and, and, and really accumulate. So um, we'll continue to be flexible with where he does play. Um, and it all depend on the team too. Where does he best fit in, in the side? Watching Chase, it almost from the outside, you said I thought it was using the but it looks like he's thinking all the time about where he should be and what he should be doing, and he's yeah. just not hunting on instinct. Is that a fair assessment? Yeah, that's fair, and that's um, that's that's the way we saw it, and that's part of the reason that will give him that freshen up, um, you know, free the mind up a little, and, and get him back after the footy. Um, sometimes, sometimes you can. Uh, chase the game a little bit too much, pardon the pun. But um, yeah, we want to we make sure he's free of mind and that he can come out and just attack that footy again. What do you expect from Collingwood? I, mean, I guess setting up yeah. square is going to be critical again. Um, that, that's won and lost in that area, you think? Yeah, I think the game is. I think nowadays if you can play it in your front half, and we're, we're playing against one of the best in the comp at, at being able to own the ground. Um, so it's a huge challenge for us and we're playing against a, a side that um, you know, has played some great footy ac across this season. Um, 
conditions might test both teams out and, that, and that'll become even more important that it's a territory game. So we'll be looking to bring that contest early and hopefully get the ball going our way. Any more debut Uh No. <laughs> Those chapman Sloan. Yeah, keep asking me. <laughs> Eventually we'll get those in and out. Sorry. Uh, Sloan and Brad Krause, what's their prognosis? Game away, you hope? Well, well Sloan is really close, really close. Um, I know he's got a, a few appointments coming up with a specialist just to, just to double check on how that is. So whether it's um, next week or the week after, we'll keep a close eye on, on him, but we're, we're looking forward to him coming back. And Brad's moving reasonably well. He did some stride throughs today. Um, he's progressing well, so uh, you know, hopefully a couple of weeks for Brad if everything goes to plan. Miller is that the same? And June, yeah, June is the same. So back to training for for Miller uh, maybe in the next week or two. Um, he's then got a, a little bit more work to do just with the footies before we can get him back in. But another really positive back. And hopefully Tully just the one game. Yeah, depending on how the team perform and 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 where the game goes. But um, yeah, for Tully, it's really about getting the body right. Yeah, we were really pleased with the way they began the game, especially. Um, you know, Sholey on a wing, I thought thought he showed composure. You know, we, we were um, we're really pleased with what he brought. And then Schoenberg inside, to go against such a uh, hardened midfield uh, and hold his own. I mean, in the end, we, we didn't quite get it done in the last quarter and we, we got exposed, but um, it wasn't an initiation for him. You know, it doesn't get much tougher than that, although it probably does this week. But we'll um, yeah, look forward to seeing what they bring again.